This morning, one of the biggest names in media is fighting for his reputation. Brian Williams has anchored NBC's nightly news broadcast for more than a decade. On Wednesday, Williams said he was sorry for saying his helicopter in Iraq was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade in 2003. That never happened. It's an account that has changed over the years. Please welcome Command Sergeant Major Tim Turpak and Brian Williams. Last Friday night, it was a tribute to a soldier who Brian Williams credits with saving his life during the invasion of Iraq. When the helicopter we were traveling in was forced down after being hit by an RPG. Our traveling NBC News team was rescued, surrounded, and kept alive by an armored mechanized platoon from the U.S. Army 3rd Infantry. Very quickly, Williams' tale was disputed by soldiers themselves. Travis Tritton writes for the military newspaper Stars and Stripes. We received a, a tip on a, a thread on Facebook. A lot of these guys had felt for years that NBC had uh, been misrepresenting this story. This is the aircraft that I was assigned to. One of them was David Luke, a flight engineer who says he took part in the mission. So if somebody on the outside wants to embellish you know, what they did or didn't do, we know what really happened. Attacks on Williams' credibility mounted. On Wednesday, he acknowledged an error. I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RPG fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. Peter Latman is the media editor at the New York Times. Brian Williams has done tons of reporting over the years about the military, and he's actually taken a big role in veterans groups and charities that support veterans who are coming home from the wars. And now members of the military saying that they're really disappointed creates a very difficult situation. This is how Williams originally reported the incident in 2003. The Chinook ahead of us was almost blown out of the sky. That hole was made by a rocket-propelled grenade Williams told a similar story in a 2008 blog, writing, The Chinook helicopter flying in front of ours took an RPG to the rear rotor, as all four of our low-flying Chinooks took fire. But two years ago, during an appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman, Williams' account was different. Uh, two of our four helicopters were hit by ground fire, including the one I was in. No kidding. Uh, RPG and, and AK-47. At his core, what Brian Williams is, is a journalist, and he's supposed to be reporting the truth. And now he's come out and said that for years he's been telling a story that was essentially false. And that really deals a blow to his credibility before the viewing public. NBC News did not respond to our request for comment.